Hello, this is a short note about how to update the tidal current, tides and currents harmonics uh, for OpenCPN in a Macintosh computer. I'll put a link in here in the description for the PC version of this article, this video, because that includes the background and a bunch of other links. Here we're just going to go mission oriented and do it because it's uh, technically a little bit faster. So here's the idea. Here is the, uh, let's say we're showing the currents. There's the current stations over there. And then if I uh, click one of these, I'm seeing the data at that station. But here's what I want to show. This data is stored at this location. And here is the data. 20, it's 2021. 2021. This data is updated. Well, it's actually updated quarterly, but we have access to a convenient, uh, convenient update once a year. So we can get the 2022 data, and that's what we're going to do now. All right, so that's the process. So what you do is you just go to uh, open, open CPN, open CPN org, and then you go to the downloads, and then from the downloads you go to, uh, uh, you get the data files here, then you go here, get the data file. And the one we want is this one up here. And, the, and, the, and that's a compressed file. And we take that file, and that's going into downloads. Now, here's the beauty of the Mac versus the PC. I can just double click this, and all of a sudden, it's already uncompressed. The folks running a PC will have to do this using, um, using a special program. But, OK, so here's the file. Now, what I would do here, maybe, I'm doing like a command N. Let me go to documents. Let me make here a new folder and call it my harmonics. My harmonics like that. And then in my harmonics, I'm just going to drag this file in. And that's the 2022 data. OK, that's that. Now what we do is we go back to the program uh, over on the other menu over here and go to charts, tides and currents. Now these are the two that we're using. This is the old one. Now I don't know that we're going to be able to see the new one because they both say just 20. But let's just, uh, uh, OK, let's add the data set. Let's just add the one we just did. That was in documents, uh, date added, my harmonics. There, and this is the file we want right here. That's it, and say OK. Now, what do we see this? Oh, OK, it's easy for us. These others were stored in the contents folder. This one's stored here. So this is a 2022. And I think to be safe here, your best bet's to highlight that old one and just remove it. D keep this one, because this is actually your Canadian data. And so this is the US data, that's Canadian data. OK, uh, that's OK. Apply. OK. Now, actually, I think it just automatically did it. If I go here now and look at this, and you see now we're getting the 2022 data. And that's all there is to it. It's that fast. And that will do, of course, the tides, the tides and the currents. If you got, here's your tides. And you go here and you look at the tides. Is that a tide? Height, height and feet. And then the harmonics are uh, 2022. OK, that's the end of that. And again, go if you want the background and some more history of what's going on here in the details. Look at the PC article, the PC movie on this topic.